Hi guys, this is Felicia with Faith Family and Food and today we are going to make this delicious cauliflower mac and cheese. If you would like to make a nice keto friendly version of macaroni and cheese like this, stay tuned. Okay, so our ingredients are cauliflower, fresh or frozen, eggs, butter, sour cream, milk, salt, pepper, and seasoned salt, which is optional. Okay, so we're going to start with our frozen cauliflower. Now you want to get your cauliflower pieces down to the size that you would like and go ahead and add your cheese. Now here I added mozzarella and I added cheddar. You can add whatever cheese you like. The combination of the different cheeses, in my opinion, makes a great flavor. Now I add some butter. I added about three tablespoons of butter for this size dish. Now, if you're using a larger dish, you may want to add more or less. Now I'm going to add in some sour cream. Now that sour cream is going to add some nice creaminess to this macaroni and cheese. Oh, I'm sorry, cauliflower macaroni and cheese. I have add my salt to taste and I go ahead and incorporate those ingredients with my milk. And that milk is going to aid in that creamy texture that you want. So I'm going to incorporate that all in and then add my eggs. Now in this size dish, I added two eggs and mix everything together. Make sure those eggs are, uh, are nice and broken up and mixed well. Now I add some more cheese because, I mean really, you can never have enough cheese, right? <laughs> I added more cheese and then I added some seasoned salt and I just sprinkled some cheese and seasoned salt right on the top and mixed it through. Not a whole lot, I just did it for some added flavor. I chopped up my butter and I spread that out a little bit more so that the butter can melt evenly in the oven. I topped with a little bit more cheese and I put in the oven at 350 for about an hour and look what I got. Wow, I, it, I just couldn't believe how wonderful this turned out. It's so bubbly and brown and ooey gooey. Oh, I was just so proud of this macaroni and cheese. Look at it. It's awesome. If you're trying to live that keto lifestyle, this is it, guys. I love macaroni just as much as the next person. Don't get me wrong. But if you put this in front of me instead of macaroni, I will not be mad at you. All right, time for a taste. I was so ready to taste this. So what I did was poke around a little bit and I did notice a little liquid at the bottom and that didn't stop me. I went ahead and tasted it anyway. And oh, it was so good. Guys, it was so good. The flavor was on point. It was creamy. It was, it was uh, rich, delicious. This was the move, guys. I'm telling you, try it. You will not be disappointed. It was good. It was great. Now, one thing I can say, I think a better thing to do is to unthaw that cauliflower and, and, and pat it dry before you make the macaroni and cheese because that'll cut down on the liquid. I'm gonna make another video so you guys can see that. But I wanna thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And please share with a friend. God bless. Have a great day.